first time since the 2019 mass shooting and last year's COVID shutdown, the Gilroy Garlic Festival is making a comeback. But as KPIX 5's Lynn Ramirez reports, there are going to be some big changes here. Len? Yeah, there are going to be some changes, but a lot is going to remain the same. I'm here in Gourmet Alley where the food is already grilling for a special uh, dinner tonight for some of the volunteers. You've got the grill master right there. And over on this side, you have Kevin, one of the pyro chefs, about to do his thing. And isn't that what makes the Gilroy Garlic Festival famous? Now, you are going to have to plan ahead, pre-order, and drive through to get your food this year. Can you smell the diesel? <laughs> garlic Festival volunteers are prepping up the food on Gourmet Alley, and that distinctively garlicky odor is once again wafting through the Gilroy air. Smell the garlic. How's it smell? Wonderful. We're at Gourmet Alley at Gilroy Presbyterian Church, where all the garlic food that you've been waiting to have for the last two years will be here. Garlic Festival President Tom Klein is happy to have the festival back, but says it's been a difficult two years. The mass shooting in 2019 and then the COVID lockdown in 2020. We've been challenged last year with no revenue. This year, our volunteers are doing their service and kind to us to help us raise money for the festival because we, we need that help. The reimagined festival starts with pre-ordering food online. Things like pepper steak, sausage, scampi, garlic fries, and garlic bread. Right now, I'm actually going through the Garlic Festival drive through route. To pick up food, cars will snake around the church parking lot and around the back of the church where they will get to see the famous pyro chefs in action. Then they'll be served through the window, but we'll have to eat off-site. The entire property is fenced, and Gilroy police already have a watchful eye on. Watching this come together over the last couple weeks has just been phenomenal. Neighbors Carl and Diane Marvin are excited and proud to have the scaled-down festival back and in their backyard. I mean, we are Gilroy strong. They certainly are. So, Len, how many, so many changes this year, as you've just showed us. What about the scheduling of the events? Well, the scheduling is going to be uh, completely different as well. It's usually held over one weekend, but this year it's going to be over two weekends, starting tomorrow and then through this weekend, and then also uh, the next weekend, uh, which will be uh, July 30th through August 1st. And the hours are going to be uh, from uh, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Fridays, and then from 11 a.m. to uh, 7 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. So you will have to do that pre-ordering to make sure you can get your food uh, prepared for you, and you can uh, just Google the Gilroy Garden. Garlic Festival 2021, and uh, the uh, results will pop up so you can order the food. Come out here and support the Garlic Festival. Uh, they've been at it for so long here mm -hmm. in the South Bay and had a uh, difficult time the last couple of years, and they're trying to come back. Yeah, the one thing that is going to remain consistent is the food is fantastic, as is the garlic, of course. <laughs> That's right. I mean, let's give you one last look here at the tri-tips oh. that are uh, grilling there on the oak and the sausages, you know, uh, if you could just uh, smell through the TV, uh, you would love it. Yeah, it's Look just mean, Len. It's There's just mean. We're getting, pepper steak. <laughs> we're getting close to dinner time. That's just cruel. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Going to be eating good in Gilroy tonight. Oh, no question. All right, Len, thanks.